After the first tunnel colonies failed due to confinement and stress, colonization agencies began brainstorming how they can improve living conditions underground. Instead of creating a nicer shelter, they decided altering baseliners genetically would be a superior and easier choice, preferring darkness. This xenotype has expanded from their mother tunnels and rule many confined spaces in the universe. They can of course be found underground on many planets, but also crammed into salvaged low-tech spacecrafts in huge numbers. Some colonies on herb worlds are said to host billions of these dark, damp, docile dwellers. The Dirt Moles. Due to a lack of sunlight and vitamin D, their skin has turned grey. And, thought to have been because of some metals and ores their bodies were exposed to, the lack of any sort of light have made their eyes redundant, deteriorating into their current, unevolved eyes. They of course mastered mining through tough ore and are masters of creating complex tunnel structures. But first, I want to know if you could add a gene into the game, what would it be? And describe it for me. Leave it in the comment below. Now, the list of strengths and weaknesses of the Dirt Moles isn't that long, so let's go through it. Fast Wound Healing. Heals them twice as fast as their baseliner counterparts. Great little scrappers, aren't they? Strong Melee Damage. Dealing 50% more per attack. Great in close quarters and in winding tunnels. Great Mining. They come with a passion for mining and a massive 8 plus to the mining skill. I decided to count Dark Vision in the pros and cons. It's great for these guys, but only because of the matching other perks. It removes the minus five darkness mood debuff, but allows them to work in darkness without penalty. So that's pretty good. Now on to their weaknesses. Intense UV sensitivity. Move speed in the harsh sunlight hemorrhages their speed down 20%. This is whenever natural sunlight is anywhere above 11%, which includes all times of the day. As soon as the sun rises, or as it is setting, they will feel the effects of intense UV sensitivity. This also gives them a massive mood debuff of negative 12. Unhappy moles. Nearsighted. They have some pretty big penalties when they want to target anything mid to far away, suffering from 25% to 50% accuracy loss. Slow runner. They are slow at running. This is the equivalent of the slow poke trait as well. And, uh, well, dark vision again. Dirt moles have clear pros and cons. They are meant to be mountain men or deep dungeon dwelling dwarves. Speaking of mountains, infestations. These insect spawning events will cause nests to spawn in any part of your base that A has an overhead mountain roof within 30 tiles of a colony structure B is larger than an area of 1 by 1 C temperatures are above negative 17 degrees Celsius 14 degrees Fahrenheit for my American viewers Also, if uh, the infestation is generated from a quest they can ignore these rules and spawn in your base. Or anywhere. If you want to prepare against an infestation because you've built a mountain base like I usually do, have doors as a choke point throughout the base. Check out this little strat here. Three heavily armoured lads ready to hold the front line, maybe a grenade or a molotov behind and just hold the point. Note that artificial lights won't affect their UV sensitivity. Also, UV sensitivity won't cause pain, just a massive mood debuff. Be careful in open areas, and especially during the day. You'll be blind and slow, and you'll have grumpy moles. Dirt moles also go well with the ideology of tunnelers, for obvious reasons, and they'll be happier eating neutrofungus, and growing them in caves is easier than growing other crops in the night. And in a mixed colony, they are pretty useful as indoor xenotypes. Maybe just set them up at a 
research bench and let them go inside. They'll be happy. Thank you very much for watching. Also, I'd like to give a massive shout out to all the people who participated in the poll recently. And in case you missed it, I was looking to see what content you would be interested in watching next. There was the options of more RimWorld analysis, so DLC, flora, fauna, but vanilla based. RimWorld mods, a RimWorld playthrough but cut down into fun sized pieces, or a different game altogether like Project Zomboid, Kenshi, or even Dwarf Fortress, something similar. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much and goodbye.